Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Hidden Gems of Cinema. I'm Jordan Ross. And I'm Michael Zavala. And we're talking about a really sweet independent drama called Lars and the Real Girl. And ha- had you seen this before? No, I no. haven't. But as I'm watching it, I'm wondering, when did somebody film my life? Yeah. And uh, it's a really it's a really a story. It's a story about my life and yeah, what I went much. through. And, uh, you know, I, we have a lot of similarities, but we'll yeah. get to that later. They were going to cast Aziz Ansari. Right, to play me. not enough star power, right. so they had to go with Gosling. Yeah. No, but I like it a lot. For those who haven't seen it, it's about a delusional young man who strikes up an unconventional relationship with a doll he finds on the internet. Mm-hmm. A sex doll. Don't um, we all? Yeah. Right? It's normal. Um, and he's, you know, this kind of socially awkward, autistic he guy. He doesn't like people. But he's he's functioning. He, he can right. work and, and do stuff like that. He want to do stuff. Yeah. He, yeah. I can relate. Yeah, and once again, he it's Michael. Right. We all know someone that's not quite mentally challenged, but they're really awkward socially. Right. And it just kind of, uh, the whole time I'm watching this, it made me want to hug Ryan Gosling because he feels so bad for him yeah. when he gets uncomfortable. Even though if you hugged him, someone like that, right. then they would hate him. I don't they, like being touched crazy. either. So that, oh, see, right, that's making me very uncomfortable yeah. right now. See, it burns. He it usually like, starts crying when I, I do. do I do. A little um, tear started. Yeah. There's so many underrated actors in this. They're all, oh, pretty much everyone in the cast. Even Ryan Gosling, I feel like, doesn't get enough credit right. for how good of an actor he is. He because everyone thinks of him as a heartthrob, but you know he he's really good in this. Yeah, it's really unconventional for like a comedy because most of them are real silly and like fart jokes and you know real dumb. And this could have been really creepy or you know yeah overly silly yeah like will ferrell playing someone in love with a sex doll right but it was really sweet and heartfelt it's a lot like the movie her with joaquin phoenix where he falls in love with his yeah. computer i saw that it's a socially awkward guy with a mustache falling in love mm-hmm. with an inanimate object again so it's a lot like, yeah that was also based that on was the sequel of yeah. my life um it's an important film too in regards to interacting and communicating with mentally and or socially disabled because it shows what they kind of go through right. you know how and how to approach him, how to talk to him. That's I have a, a cousin yeah. that's autistic. Yeah. And it remind I, I thought of him a lot throughout this movie. Maybe I'm artistic. Yeah. Ar- yeah. You're very artistic um, and autistic. Oh, um, autistic. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love how supportive and accepting everyone in the town is too. They yeah. all just kind of come around him. And that they, was the, that was like the sweetest sweet. part. Yeah. yeah. I, I'd like to think someone would do that for, for us. Probably not, but no. <laughs> Kelly Garner, the love interest, I really like her. She's really sweet and timid. Perfect for Lars. You know? Right. Emily Mortimer is his sister-in-law. She's like the best sister-in-law in the world. Yeah, she really she, is. She like cares more about her brother-in-law than his actual brother. Yeah. And speaking of uh, Paul Schneider, his brother, he's uh, really subtle and, and natural as yeah. an actor. And I like him a lot. He's a really good And they look like brothers, well. actually. Like, yeah. They, they could I, be really I, brothers. I could see that, yeah. And this is the movie that showed me that Ryan Gosling is a really great actor before that i liked him but it was mostly a heart because he's good yeah yeah because he's, he's a good looking guy yeah but yeah. this he's like so sweet he's like a big you know shy awkward puppy and um i love how he laughs at things in the movie that aren't funny or yeah. supposed to be funny or that uh, when people aren't joking like uh <laughs> when the doctor says she gets so lonely that she'll forget what day it is and yeah. he laughs right because it's when, relatable yeah and i love his little subtleties like how he pulls away just slightly when someone touches him yeah or when he's interacting with people and he blinks a lot I knew someone like that, that every time yeah. they start a sentence, they yeah. just start blinking. If someone says something that makes him too uncomfortable or it's too personal, he kind of just ignores what they said and just changes just walk, the subject. Or just walks off. Yeah. Um, a few fun facts for our favorite moments. The scene where Lars and Bianca are about to enter the party was entirely improvised. So was the scene when he's doing CPR on Margot's teddy bear. Oh, yeah. And the real doll in the movie had nine different faces that were used uh, to sh- show the evolution of her character. Oh, wow. And uh, the one cool. when she's sick was slightly greener than the other one. Wow. So, uh, yeah. So now our favorite moments. I'll, I'll let you go first. Uh, I just, the concept uh, got my attention and I I, I, I thought it was weird at first. I'm like, yeah. why, why is Jordan making me watch this? And then yeah. I liked, I'm like, oh, this is really cool and, and really sweet. Um, I liked, I think the fact that I, when I realized... Um, what was going on when he knocked on the door and said, have bringing somebody yeah. over or whatever. And I'm like, who's he bringing over? What's going on? So, you know, it's kind of like, I love that scene. Yeah. And then bam, you get to this awkward it situation. It just shows him sitting on the couch, yeah. just like not knowing what to do at all. I think that, that was the, that was the part for me that got me. Yeah. That hooked me. That was the hook. Yeah. And it was, I think that was my favorite part. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of good moments in it, but that was my favorite. I have a few. I'll get through real quick. I love when Ryan Gosling is laying in the tree house, singing L O V E to Bianca. <laughs> That I can give to you love is 
is more than just a game for two. And you can tell he feels more comfortable with her, this doll, than he's ever felt with any person because he's not blinking like crazy with right. her. And when he's around her, he's more comfortable around other people. Sure. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I really like the scene where the doctor is trying to get him to take off his layers and touch his arm and stuff to get him used to physical contact with another person. Right. Um, and that that's another thing that reminded me of my cousin. You hug him and he'll hug you because he knows it's what you're supposed to do. Right. But he, you could feel him tense up when his work friends are throwing the party. I love how nice that couple is. Like the yeah. the husband is dancing with Bianca. Yeah. And this the shot of Ryan Gosling just dancing with himself, kind of like closing his eyes real tight because uh, he feels awkward with all these people around him. And he's just dancing with himself like this it was so heartbreaking. But I loved that shot. It was yeah. so sweet. But yeah, it's an awesome movie. Go check it out. It's really, really, really good. And uh, be sure to follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel. If you have any suggestions for another movie that's underrated or underseen, just let us know in the comments and maybe we'll pick that movie for a future episode. So until next time, I'm Jordan Ross. And I'm Michael Zavala. See ya.